Quadular, how to play. The rules are the same as regular chess, except for these changes. For refresher of those rules, check out this video. The object of this two to four player chess variant is to capture your opponent's king. There is no checkmating. Lay out the board. Each player orients from a corner and places five pawns on their third row. On the second row, they place rook, knight, bishop, knight, rook. On their first row, from left to right, they place queen, bishop, prince. The prince starts the game with the crown detached and set aside. In the corner space, called the throne, they place their king. The king is the only piece that can freely move in and out of the throne. All other pieces may only capture into the throne, after which they can move out of it according to their normal movement. The throne is orthogonally and diagonally adjacent to each of the three squares in front of it. The prince can move one or two spaces horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. The prince captures the first piece it slides into. The first time your prince enters any opponent's domain, indicated by crossing the red line towards their throne, your prince receives its crown and may now move any number of spaces in any direction like a queen. Once crowned, the prince is called the king-to-be. Should your king be captured, you immediately replace your king-to-be with the king. After a bishop captures to a throne, when that bishop returns to the battlefield, it must do so on the same color it was on before capturing to the throne. Pawns are allowed their initial double-step move option. On Passan is allowed like normal. After their first move forward, pawns are allowed to move one space vertically or horizontally, so long as they move away from their own domain. The only exception is that pawns may capture backwards towards their own domain, so long as they are also capturing into an opponent's domain. Whenever a pawn enters an opponent's domain, they promote to either a rook, bishop, or knight. Pawns may not promote if moving to an empty domain when playing with two or three players. If playing with two or three players, one player must be the orange player. The orange player goes first, then play proceeds clockwise. Once you have captured an opponent's king when they don't have a king to be, then that player is eliminated from the game and you get to control their pieces as if they were your own. However, you may not promote any of their pawns or prince. When there is only one king remaining, then the game ends and the player with the remaining king wins.